Hi, I'm Owen Gunnell. Um, I'm a professional percussionist and have been for nearly two decades. Well, first of all, it's my job, um, but uh, music uh, to me, I mean, it, the world wouldn't go around without music. I mean, film, uh, TV, just listening to it, emotions. I mean, it's not everything, that's a bit too far, but life without music would be a bit odd and less interesting. My favorite instrument changes day to day. That's the great thing about being a percussionist. Today is maybe the vibraphone. Tomorrow it might be the marimba. Next day, uh, maybe the glock is a bit endless. The skill set I've sort of developed from being a percussionist is, I suppose, a bit of confidence, although people might say I would have had it anyway when I was that age. But um, yeah, multitasking is a really good one for housework as well. Um, but uh, the thing that I quite like, which is kind of a skill, is I like the fact it keeps me fit. And it really does. I, I mean, moving instruments around, it's a physical thing playing percussion. So, uh, and the one thing I would say for me is there are still things I'm picking up after playing all these years. One of the great things about being a percussionist is, is the variety of instruments. There, I mean, there's endless lists of instruments. I still haven't played anywhere near all of them. Um, so a really good thing about the new ABRSM syllabus is the fact that it isn't just snare drum, timpani and xylophone. Now there's a huge array of options, um, uh, vibraphone, and again, you might not have a vibraphone, but at least the option's there. If your school has one, you can play it. Um, and then multi setups, and then the thing which I've really enjoyed over the years is playing as part of a duo, percussion duo. Um, and there are now pieces for two percussionists uh, to enjoy. So making music together, it's always better than doing it on your own. So uh, the new pieces are on the syllabus as well. Um, I quite like the fact that the younger grades, uh, uh, you know, are fun. They're quite short and snappy, which is, you know, in this day and age, I think that's good. Um, uh, quite interesting titles, I have to say. Um, and then they build up to maybe more serious, like jazz or New Orleans style. There's a whole variety of styles, and I think that makes it more interesting and more fun. I mean, it would for me if I was if I was learning to do it, as opposed to study number one. Here's a few rolls and a few notes. Uh, they've got a little story, you know, something you can imagine. Use your imagination. My first tip would be make sure you enjoy it. Uh, Secondly, it's pretty tricky actually because uh, when I was young, um, I didn't have five octave rooms like this and don't expect many people to, but that doesn't mean you can't end up playing this instrument. Start on small instruments. I started on um, a small xylophone that me and my brother bought from Paper Money um, and then work your way up, you know. So that's, I always say anyone can do it, um, but it would be start on the smaller instruments and work your way up. Been really lucky. I had three. I'm going to say they are uh, Cliff Willard, who was a local teacher in Cambridgeshire where I grew up, and then after that was Jackie Kendall. Um, I was really lucky to go to the Saturday Royal College of Music uh, junior department, and then after that at college I had Kevin Hathaway um, and Andy Smith, Mike Skinner, and Yana. All really good teachers. All offered so many different things.